We have a developing story out of Katy tonight. A family's SUV catches fire, and the parents think they know what caused it their toddler's shoes. Channel 2 Sion Rhodes is joining us now uh, with that family's warning about these light up shoes. Sion? Yeah, that family's toddler kicked off his shoes in the car Friday night and left them there. The next morning, the shoes and the car were a charred, smoky mess. What is that? Two and a half year old Warren holds what's left of the shoes that would normally be on his feet. Jake and the Neverland Pirates light up shoes. Saturday morning, his parents found the shoes and the rear passenger side of their SUV burned to a crisp. There was nothing in the car that could, have, as, as far as we knew, that could start a fire. I saw the shoe laying on the ground with the wire sticking up, and it was just a light bulb, like I knew immediately. That's what it was. The fire marshal has yet to determine the origin, but the Virogs believe a lithium ion battery inside the shoes may be to blame. I was rather surprised that there was a little lithium ion battery in there. Just to get some LED lights blinking, I, I, it seems rather unnecessary. They bought the shoes at this Copperfield Payless shoe source store. In a statement, a spokesperson wrote, We have contacted the family and we will work with them and local authorities to better understand the circumstances of the fire and what may have caused it. You don't really think about it, right? It's to blink a shoe, it's cool, you know. So, yeah, you don't think about the risk. If this had happened while my son was wearing them or in the house, you know, who knows? Now, the spokesperson also said safety is a top priority for the store and that she did not have knowledge of any other reports of their light up shoes with lithium batteries catching fire. Bill, Dominique. Still